Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Another Wednesday, another whiskey review with me, Joe. So, on to my penultimate, always love that word, uh, Jura whiskey review. This week, reviewing the Jura Prophecy, which is their heavily peated limited release. Uh, it's bottled at 46%, no age statement. Let's just uh, put that out of the box. Back. So, yeah. As I said last week, Jura's range consists of peated and unpeated whiskies. Uh, so this is their heavily peated one. Let's give it a nose. Ah, oh, straight away. I mean, I'm a bit of a peat freak. But straight away, that's briny peat and caramel. And a salty treacle. A seaweedy, soft white pepper. All kind of savoury meatiness about it. It smells dirty. That's a cracking nose, kind of savoury, meaty. That, that for me is the, the best nose out of their range that I've reviewed over the last couple of weeks. I mean, it might be because I'm a bit of a peat freak, as I said, but uh, it's so different. That kind of it's just savoury. It's one of the most savoury smelling whiskies I've ever smelt. Right, let's give it a let's give it a taste. Mm. Now straight away, you notice the oiliness of it. Oily, it kind of reminds me of like that bog roll, like meat, gravy, kind of pepper, seaweed. You get a caramel note that comes through again, so you get a little bit of sweetness. Uh, it's kind of oily barley, um, grilled fish again, so it's kind of like oily mackerel, smoked haddock, um, bonfire smoke. Let's give it another taste. And kind of burnt, burnt biscuity barley. Kind of smoked maltiness, meat juices, of grilled ham. That's really good. That's a kind of that's a kind of dangerously easy drinking peaty whiskey because it's peaty and it's intense, but it's it's kind of soft and sweet at the same time. I'll give you one more taste for the finish. Now on the finish, it's kind of short. But you do get a kind of spicy, peppery, oily peat. That, that is my favourite Jura out of their kind of core range, if you like the range that you can get in the whiskey shops, you know, around the country. Um, in terms of like, you know, online and, you know, in retail places as well. Because um, the next one I'm reviewing like next week is a special one-off that you can't get. So that's part of their core range uh, that you can get kind of, you know, once a year. Um, that gets a solid, solid 8 out of 10. Uh, it's a really good PT kind of explosion. It's the most complex, it's the most fun Jura whiskey, and it's the most entertaining, which for me, um, a whiskey needs to be entertaining, it needs to be kind of exciting. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for the Jura Prophecy, their heavily peated release. Um, let me know what you think, as always, please leave a comment in the boxes below. Uh, you know the drill, I'm sure if you're on YouTube you know how to leave a comment. Just Pipe away. And I will see you next week, guys. Bye bye.